Can you see the joint yet? It's getting a bit broader, isn't it? Got any lacquer? The only advice that Vale fans give their manager, John Rudge, is about headwear. Potteries fans are real coiffure connoisseurs, and they're taking their hats off to the ball boss, whose team are beginning to play like the pre-season favourites they were. Well, after winning the Autoglass and getting 89 points, yes, the, the book has made us um, odds-on favourites, basically. We couldn't get a bit on ourselves, but uh, after a few games, I mean, the odds went to about 8 to 10 to 1. So we'll, we all had a few bob on that. The odds are even shorter on Vale star player Ian Taylor staying around. He was back yesterday to give scouts one last look before Thursday's transfer deadline. Obviously, if the team did come in for me, I'd, I'd, th I'd think about it, you know, depending which team and where it is. But, um, yeah, I'd love to play in the Premier. Taylor had one of his quieter games, but was still responsible for most of Vale's best chances. His header hitting the post, Martin Foyle's back here will scramble clear. Taylor's reading of the game from deep attacking positions and anticipation of chances was one of the game's few features, but the Brentford back line was in little danger. they just come off a club record run. Their style is to put bodies between the shooter and the goal. Another Taylor surge was stopped in its tracks. Vale could and should have opened the scoring 90 seconds before half-time. Martin Foyle, the club's top scorer, couldn't get off the unlucky 13 goals mark. Just over a minute gone in the second half, what turned out to be the winner. Andy Porter's cross was met by Taylor, his 13th goal of the season, and who knows, possibly his last for the club. Interested onlookers couldn't fail but be impressed by his sense of timing, the way he stood out from the crowd and his incisive finish. Vale needed the goal to keep up their four-match winning streak. David Lowe on loan from Leicester and possibly a long-term replacement for Taylor wasn't as accurate in front of goal. He scored twice in six matches for Vale, but yesterday his target finder was well out of focus. After last year's last day heartbreak, Vale need to start not just winning the games but improving their goal scored column. Only Taylor looks like scoring on a regular basis and they can't count on him for much longer. Deadline day comes up soon, uh, but we want to keep him at least till the end of the season and see whether they can build the team around him for next year. Do you expect them to be knocking at your door between now and Thursday? I hope not too loudly. Well, he's certainly rated uh, at a million plus, 13 goals this season. That's a pretty good ratio from midfield.